Hi, I'm Patrick Tobin here from Main 2 and I'm here with uh, Jim Codd from Wexford. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you so much and I salute you for coming all this way to make sure that your case was put in front of the doll. It's an incredible thing that the fishermen and women of Ireland have to come up the Liffey to get the political establishment to listen to them. It's unbelievable. The proclamation of this country says that Irish men and Irish women own the natural resources of this country. But what the government have done over the last 20 years is rip up the proclamation and hand over our resources lock, stock and barrel to the European Union. It's absolutely wrong. It's an incredible situation that we have a two-tier system developing in Ireland. Irish fishermen are second-class citizens on our own seas. We have a situation where Irish fishermen can only take 7% of monkfish, while at the same time we have French and Belgium and Spanish fishermen taking the vast majority of it. The fact that Irish fishermen can only take 15% of the stock out of our own sea is absolutely wrong. We need full equality for Irish fishermen on our own sea. And the truth of the matter is, in this country, the government has a cap-tipping instinct towards the European Union. The government will not say no to the European Union because it's scared of the European Union. But it's time that the government grew a backbone and told where the European Union should go in relation to our fish right now. There's also something else that's going on here at the moment. This government, unfortunately, is a Dublin-based government. They do not see outside of the M50. And this country is growing into a city-state. All the investment is going into the city, while the population is falling right throughout the rest of Ireland. Right now, we have two Irelands, and this government has forgotten about the rest of Ireland. And it's time that people stood up for the rest of Ireland. And I was talking to people here from Donegal earlier today, who had travelled 26 hours from Killybegs to be at this protest. And they were here just a week ago in relation to Micah. This government needs to realise it's a government for all the people of Ireland, and not just South Dublin. One thing I will say to him, this is my last word, and I, I, I really want to congratulate the organizers of this campaign. But the problem is, oftentimes in politics, politicians will come out at your protests, they'll put their arms around you, and they'll get in the photographs for you. But when the real business is done, they'll forget about you. This is not just time for listening anymore from the government. This is time for radical action to save this industry now. Garamila Mahag of Galer. <laughs> Thanks, Peter, and I, for one, am going to hold Peter to account for his last statement. I'm hoping that we will, any politician that comes up to take this mic, better take our phone calls after this demonstration. Would you agree? Yeah. So, the next politician, there, there's one coming with a sign, so I think that <laughs> we'll, we'll bring her on. Verona Murphy.